Welcome back to another one of my shitty vlogs. In this vlog, I'm gonna be talking about Hilt, which is a new dependency injection tool built on top of Dagger. And I have some extra good news for those of you who are Android developers, which is probably all of you, or most of you, probably 90% of you. Uh, the Android team at Google took Hilt and they implemented, I guess, another tool set on top of it to make it more, to make it easier for Android developers to use. And I know what you're thinking right now, you're thinking, oh, this feels a lot like Dagger Android. And we all know that Dagger Android wasn't definitely was not easier to use than even just regular dagger even though that was that was the intention that the Android team had well hilt actually is easier I have some really good news for you hilt actually is it does make life easier for Android developers there's tons of conveniences you know there's like view model support it makes using view models easier out of the box so you don't have to build those um, those view model provider factories anymore you have access to the save state handle for those for those of you who are keeping up with you know view models saving state state persistence process death all that stuff that you got to deal with you know that there's this new save state handle thing but it's not really the easiest to work with because of dependency injection but this um, this new hilt kind of toolkit that the Android team has built makes save state handle work out of the box with dagger for your view model so that's like really great it makes you you able to do constructor injection with uh, work manager which you could do also before but it was kind of like the same situation you were in with the save state handle there was a lot of things you had to do to get it to work it was kind of annoying and uh, overall I would say that there's less boilerplate you don't even have to build components anymore those are those get generated for you scoping is sort of handled like out of the box you don't got to worry about scoping as much there's a ton of of really great things that that the Android team did with Hilt and you can probably tell that I'm pretty excited about it like you can probably tell by the way that I'm I'm presenting this I definitely like this tool I Dagger Android was something that I didn't love, but I used and then realized that maybe later we should just use regular Dagger. This I, I like right away. They definitely took a step in the right direction in terms of making life simpler for those of you who are Android developers, which is, you know, like I said, probably all of you who are watching this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a video series on YouTube. It's going to be a free video series. I was debating whether to do like one long video that's like 45 minutes or an hour. Some of you probably saw the poll that I did on Twitter, but I decided that I'm going to do kind of little bite-sized videos, probably aimed to be five to 10 minutes long in length and just kind of cover all the new stuff that Hilt can do, how to use Hilt, um, basically kind of start from like super beginner level, like just how to get started with Hilt and move our way up to something kind of like the most advanced usages of Hilt that you would see, which is like Hilt and testing. So we're going to build some actual instrumentation tests and like see how it is with Hilt and how all that stuff works. We're going to put together some architecture. I'll set up, you know, the classic MVI structure that I like to use. So we'll have a view model. We'll have either I'll probably use clean architecture. So we'll use like two different data sources with some use cases. Then we'll build tests out for them, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's going to happen way down the road. The thing that I want to talk about right now before I even get started making these videos is is how I'm going to present these. How, how, how beginner friendly are these going to be? Because I know some of you probably don't even use Dagger and you know, maybe you've tried to watch my Dagger course, but it was too complicated. Maybe you're still interested in learning dependency injection. Obviously you probably are because everybody has to know dependency injection. So how am I going to teach this? How is it going to be beginner friendly or is it going to be ta tailored towards uh, more advanced developers? So like the, um, the, the video length issue that I just mentioned, I've kind of been back and forth about this. I wasn't really sure whether I wanted to like just kind of make a video and be like, hey, you know, this is the new dependency injection thing. Here's how you use it. Here's what's different about Dagger and just like move through it really quickly. That was what I originally kind of wanted to do, but then I thought a lot of people would be missing out on this, especially since like Hilt is definitely easier than regular Dagger or Dagger Android. So this might be a good opportunity to show some people who've you know tried to learn dependency injection before and kind of failed. Maybe they don't fully understand it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it uh, really kind of, I'm gonna start out really, really simple. Like we're gonna start with like, uh, you know, obviously just like getting the dependencies and like slowly building up, but I'm going to, I'm going to explain dependency injection, like in general, like why we use it, when we use it, how we use it, all of these kind of questions that beginners are going to have. And I'll go through it. And like I said, I'm going to start like really simple, but we're going to move up to like a really advanced level. So it was going to be probably like, I don't know, I would say 10 to maybe 12, 13 videos, I would think. And the first probably nine-ish or eight-ish of those videos will be pretty much for beginners. They're gonna be, not well, not for beginners, but they'll, they'll, 
beginners will be able to follow them. That's kind of the punchline. So some of you who are you know, more experienced, I'm sure along the way at the beginning, you're going to think, oh man, Mitch, I know this, I know this, hurry up, speed up, speed up, speed up. But I, I have to do it this way so that I can kind of cater to most people. So you know, there's a, there's a button down in YouTube that you can click, you can turn up the speed of my talking, you can go to like 1.5 or 1.75 and just kind of go through these if, if you think that I'm going too slow. But that way, at least beginners can follow along. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I'm going to, I'm going to stop it here because I'm going to start filming the Hilt videos today. So hopefully, if I release this vlog, maybe I'll release some Hilt videos later today. We'll see how far I get. So as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to codingwithmitch.com and check out my courses. I got the best courses on the internet regarding Android development. I got courses for all levels from beginner to like pretty advanced testing, dependency injection, Kotlin, coroutines, flows, channels, MVI architecture, all kinds of stuff. Go check it out and I'll see you in the next videos.